Welcome to Something Evil. This is the Demon, an 840 horsepower monster designed for one thing and one thing only, going fast in a straight line. Dodge says this car will get from 0 to 60 in less than 2.3 seconds, can cover the quarter mile in less than 10, and at a launch so hard it'll lift the front tires off the ground. We're going to start at the strip and see if all that's true, and then we'll walk you through some of the amazing engineering and technology under the skin that makes all that possible. Now before you can launch the Demon, you've got to press a lot of buttons. It requires a little bit of foreplay, but don't worry, the experience is more than worth it. You start with a double tap of the SRT button that brings you into the drag interface here. Right now it's showing 808 horsepower, but since we have a tank full of race gas, push this button and it gives you the full 840. From here you can set different drag options. I can set the launch control RPM, turn on or off the shift lights. I can enable or disable the race cooling system that's ducting cool air over the intercooler, which is why I'm a little bit sweaty right now. And then when you're ready, you activate line lock control. Now line lock is what lets you get those big smoky burnouts and get those big rear tires up to temperature. Basically all you have to do is push this button to enable it, put your foot flat on the brake pedal, hold the OK button here, then you come off the brakes, get on the gas and wait for you to have enough smoke behind it. And then you're ready to go. You come off the OK button, the car will roll forward. Then it's time to enable the trans brake. So here, I put on the brake, both paddles to enable that. Come up to the engine RPM you want with your right foot. Come off the right paddle. Come off the brake. Then you release the left paddle. And then all hell breaks loose. Don't let that give you the impression that launching the Demon is as easy as pushing a bunch of buttons. It still takes some skill and a lot of finesse, but when you get that perfect launch and you do it just right, the feeling is incredible. It takes a lot to make a car like this move that fast, and though Dodge has put the Demon on a bit of a diet, in fact you can even option it without the passenger seat if you really want to save weight, this is still about 4,200 pounds, and moving that much mass down a quarter mile in less than 10 seconds, that takes a lot of power. Thankfully, we've got a lot of power under here. This is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, which yes, is similar to the one in the 707 horsepower Hellcat, but with a lot of new toys, starting with this massive hood scoop here, which then ducks cool air right into a gigantic air intake. There's also an intercooler that's fed cool air from the air conditioning system, and all that combined gives this an astonishing 840 horsepower. That's directed to the rear wheels exclusively through an 8-speed automatic transmission. That's your only option, but that's actually not that bad a thing. You see, this is the first production car to roll off the showroom with a trans brake. That means that this car can actually engage first gear and reverse at the same time, which sounds like a bad thing, but that means when you're on the line, the engine can get up to RPM, the transmission can build pressure, and when you're ready to go, tap the left paddle, reverse disengages, and suddenly everything gets really blurry. The SRT Demon will be available for order at your local dealer at a starting price of just under $85,000. And yes, that's how much it'll actually cost. Dodge is going way out of its way to stop price gouging, something that we very much appreciate. Of course, with only 3,000 of these heading to US dealerships and another 300 going to our neighbors of the north, catching this Demon by the tail is still going to be quite a challenge.